Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick peek at the house as it is right now. Things are moving along. It's really exciting and I think we're actually going to beat the baby into the house. So that's the good news. This is obviously the front hall and you may notice we put up it's still in the process of being cleaned up and stuff, but we put in all this wood paneling that wasn't here originally, but I think it really makes this space look nice. You can see how they've been staining the windows and they just kind of get the staining on the plaster. And then when they paint, they go ahead and clean all of that up. Um, so this is the living room and you can see we're waiting for these curved windows to come back. Um, but the fireplace looks fantastic. I'm really excited. It hasn't been tiled yet. Um, and this is where you can see they've taped out where the hearth is going to be. So they're going to cut into the floor to put in the hearth because this fireplace is not original to this house. In fact, this wall is not original to the house. Originally there was a window where that box is. Um, and this wall went straight, but we wanted the house to look Victorian and a very classic architecture thing they used to do this fireplace is original to the house is they would share a chimney to fireplaces which I think is so this looks I think really cool we're trying to restore the house so that it looks like it might have at some point but you can see here's the original fireplace um, this is really cool so for the room that we just were in the living room there's curved wood and this is how they curve the wood isn't that super cool? So it's all clamped so that it will be in the correct curve. This is our kitchen, very much under construction, obviously. Um, and you can see, this is the tile that we picked out for our kitchen backsplash, so I'm really excited to see it go in. I think it's, I think it's really pretty. Everything's covered up even though the countertops and the cabinets are in because they want to protect it all. You can see a little bit there. Uh, there'll be a fridge and a freezer and the stove goes there. That's the window that was originally in the living room that we relocated. Let's see, it's behind some plastic right now, but you can see it's a pretty stained glass window. Um, and then this was actually an enclosed porch which now we've turned into this little butler's pantry, which again, I'm hoping it looks original. I've made a big effort with everything in the house to try to make it look as like original and Victorian. So it really feels like we're restoring the house to its former glory. It was, you know, kind of a mess when we bought it. And so I really want it to be like the most beautiful version of itself. So this door, this doorway was originally in the middle of this wall. And this was another porch that got enclosed. Um, probably like in the 1940s or 50s. This is all new. We put up all of this wainscoting. We moved the windows and put in all new windows and we put a powder room in here. You can see the vanities covered up. Eventually there'll be a toilet. Um, and then this becomes like a little mud room, etc. So we just, everything in the house is about making it functional. So they're refinishing these stairs so you can see that they're kind of um, all been sanded down and look messy. Also things in the house are like can't go through that door. So oh doesn't that look like somebody's handprint? It does. It's somebody else's handprint. Um, so they put back in like railings and banisters which is great. Um, and then this is our second floor. This house was built without any hallways. So this is it. There's a hall and it's just an octagon of doors that comes off the sides. That's it. There are no hallways in this house. So this room, we added in some, you can't see it here. This is how the doors are being stored right now. Um, but we added in some windows, so it's really nice and bright in here. We put a closet in this room. It didn't used to have a closet. Um, and then this is the second floor bathroom. I think there's a light in here. Um, yeah, so there's like a big closet here. Um, this is the vanity. They put in the, hi, the mirrors. 
you can see, hi, my baby is here in the house with me. Um, and then you can see here is the bathtub, which is covered up. They're really good about protecting stuff. And then all the tile, the little niche for like your shampoos and your soap and stuff. The toilet will go here eventually. Um, and then this is our bedroom. You can see there's one closet here. There's another closet. I don't know if there's a light in here yet. Maybe. Ah, there we go. So another giant closet here. Um, something I noticed that they did recently is they uh, let there be light. They put the tile on the fireplace up here. We picked a pretty contemporary tile with our old fireplace, but I think it looks really nice. So I'm excited about that. Um, this is the master bathroom. So there's gonna be a tub there. We put, um, this used to be a porch. And so we put in these high windows. It was an enclosed porch um, and obviously insulation and stuff. Toilet room. This is the shower. Shall we all get in the shower together? So I think they just finished the tiling yesterday. There's another little niche. Um, look at that herringbone, it's everywhere. Um, and then vanity, mirrors, all that good stuff. And back out. Once the bed comes in here, this bedroom is gonna be really small, but you know, what do you need a big bedroom for really? And then you can see they have a big work table. This is obviously where they stain stuff. I'm gonna try not to touch anything in here. Closet, um, some drying doors, windows. This room has a really nice curve and a pretty view. So this is the storage container where we have stored like all the woodwork from the house when we took it out and then our dumpster. So this looks like a storage room and it kind of is right now. Um, but it was a really tiny bedroom and we decided that what probably you can see the closet would be best is to turn it into a laundry room. So you can see we put in cabinets and then the washer and the dryer and a laundry sink will go there. I think especially with the baby, that'll be really good. So if you come and take a class with me, this is the door that you'll come in. Um, it goes to a set of stairs that go down the back of the house. So you can see stairs on the outside of the house. So you come right in like this. There'll be hooks here so you can hang up your coat. And there's a bench here to lift up for storage, you can sit, take off your shoes, etc. Come on in. And this is the studio space. You can see this is the sink, studio sink. that has to get installed, it's pretty big. Um, but this is essentially an attic space, so you can see there's not a lot of flat wall in here. Put a little storage loft in. Um, there is a little porch out here, but you can see that the kind of state that this porch is in, and that's pretty much how the whole house was really beautiful bones, but falling apart. So we've been restoring the inside first and we'll do the outside maybe next year when we have more money. Um, that's a utility closet. And then this is the, this is the reading nook. So I'm gonna put like a little mattress in here. Um, there's a light and you can just like lay there and read. This is the bathroom. Toilet's going there. It's petite, but I think it's still functional. There is a shower up here too. This is actually a legal two family house. So 
we put a full bath in just in case. So there you go. I'm super out of breath because I am a fat pregnant lady. And this is, I just climbed three flights of stairs. But that's it. That's the house. It's under construction. We're getting closer. I am very hopeful and um, I am very tired. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.